Russians killed their soldiers with boats, with their servicemen in the Dnieper with artillery fire. The Russian army does not hesitate to destroy its own soldiers with artillery while preventing the attacks of Ukrainian soldiers on the left bank of the Dnieper River. Soldiers of the Ukrainian army have repeatedly said that there are such cases. Russian artillery is also trying to hit Ukrainian soldiers trying to cross the river with artillery. Sometimes the Russian soldiers trying to stop the Ukrainian soldiers by boat are also hit by artillery fire. Such cases are more common in land battles. Russian artillery does not hesitate to destroy its soldiers. Recall the Ukrainian armed forces liberated Kherson from Russian occupiers in the fall of 2022, but part of the region in particular on the left bank of the Dnieper is still under enemy control. The Ukrainian military is courageously holding a small bridgehead in Krynki, but it is becoming increasingly difficult to defend the Times reports. To get to the left bank of the Dnieper in the Kherson region, Ukrainian special forces cross the river in teams of four despite unmanned aerial vehicles and massive artillery attacks. The boats sail at dusk. When Russian surveillance is most blind, the material says. It is noted that the stay of each group on the left bank usually lasts a month and those who cross know that there is no easy way back. Water, food and ammunition are transported back and forth by vampire hexacopters. When you fight in the Donbass, you have the earth behind you, but here you only have water. You constantly feel that the Russians are trying to drown you, says one of the servicemen of the 38th Brigade with the call sign Fagot. The material says that the last significant territorial victory of Ukraine came in November 2022 when Ukrainian troops liberated Kherson. At that time, there were optimistic forecasts that the defense forces would be able to continue their advance to the other side of the river, but the Dnieper proved to be a significant obstacle. Since the creation of the Krynki bridgehead in October 2023, the Ukrainians have been trying to advance further and are struggling hard to retain even this bridgehead. The publication also noted that in order to strengthen its attacks, Ukraine turned to Great Britain and the Royal Marines for help. Thus, almost 1,000 Ukrainian military personnel underwent a grueling five-week training course, which took place in Longmoor, Oakhampton and Plymouth. As you know, British Marines taught Ukrainians to swim in bulletproof vests and raise capsized boats to the surface. It is noted that the soldiers of the 38th Brigade needed these skills because a few months ago, one of their boats capsized during artillery shelling. However, the servicemen of the Ukrainian armed forces were not at a loss because they had done this before. Marines, as a rule, fight infantry against infantry. But the Russians use infantry and artillery at the same time. They fire at their own guys who are attacked. They just don't care. The Russians don't count their manpower. They just go ahead, said Fagot. Quoting members of the Defense Forces, the Times claims that the Ukrainians killed significantly more soldiers than the Russians on the left bank of the Dnieper, but losses were widespread on both sides.